Sorry about that guys, I do not know what happened then. Either my laptop had a little glitch or there might have been a small issue, but I have no idea what just happened then. It's not even like the Wi-Fi cut out, the Wi-Fi was still really good, so I have no idea why that happened. I really do apologize guys. I have no reason why that happened. You'll have to uh, forgive me for that. <clears throat> I have no idea. Do, do, do. So guys, if you're new to the live stream, make sure you smash the like button. Sorry about the last live stream. Uh, the last live stream just... I don't even know what happened then. It's like I said, the Wi-Fi didn't even go. The Wi-Fi didn't even, like, go down. I don't know what happened. I think YouTube servers just glitched out then. So I apologize. <clears throat> UK internet's not bad. Down Where I live now, I get uh, 300 download and 200 upload, so... Pardon me, the Wi-Fi here is not even the problem, it's the servers on YouTube that are the problem. YouTube servers recently have just been really bad. Yeah, I was talking about AR technology, but before I carry on with AR technology, please guys, just smash the like button because we were getting really good momentum on the last live stream, but that just went... So can you please smash the like button so it would help me out with the live stream. So yeah, going back onto AR technology, basically, consumers want to see the the product in real life but because they can't anymore because of lockdown because of being scared to go to shops anymore the only way you're going to give them that feel of seeing the product is by having an ar technology built in where they can see the product in a 360 motion now the best way of doing this now an example is apple so if you go to apple.com's website when you go to look at the new iphone you can view it in ar mode and it, when you pick up your phone you can literally see through the phone the actual iphone 12 in your room in a um, white background you can literally make it look like you've got the iphone in your house in your apartment wherever you live so that's what ar technology is about and it's about giving consumers a real life feel for that product and that's why ar technology <clears throat> pardon me is going to be the way forward now now with the whole global pandemic um with the whole global pandemic that's basically changed e-commerce five years quicker so e-commerce now had to had to kind of i don't know how to word this e-commerce has basically had to grow into a into a massive substance well E-commerce has basically had to grow five years in one year. Now, I don't know how you want to word that, but e-commerce has had to do what it did, what it would have done in 2025, in 2021. So that's why AR technology is the key. Um, and I will be bringing a video soon out about AR technology. So make sure you turn post notifications on because when that video comes out, I'll be showing you an example of a website on Shopify because Shopify has just recently added the API to actually let you do that. Um, and that's why you haven't seen it last year because they've only just recently added the API to actually let you do that feature. Now, that feature is going to be expensive. So for those that are here who are like, wow, that sounds amazing. It is going to be expensive, guys. The, the expensive bit is getting the product that you're selling 3D modeled. Uh, and that thing's going to cost you between $500 and $1,000. To actually get it installed on your website, pardon me, you're looking at around about another $100 to $200. So it definitely is an expensive job. But if you get a winning product, you are definitely going to want to do that because straight away, your your CTRs, your, your conversion rates are just going to go crazy. Absolutely crazy. So that's pretty much a, a glimpse into the inside. Um, of, of, of what to do <clears throat> so is it hard to do the 3d modeling yourself um you have to have the right gear now that's the next thing to do it yourself you can but it's expensive because you need the right gear now you can download apps on your iphone if you've got the new iphone you can do it on the new iphone but if not you have to buy soft well hardware that can do it so it's very technical put it that way but it is the future guys and i can promise you this now all the big brands are doing it samsung apple hp dow they're all doing it and you'll slowly see it coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out uh, till, till the rest of the year. But guys, I'll be showing you how to do it very, very soon. Don't worry, that is on my to-do list. You just got to stay um, got to stay patient and, and turn post notifications on. <clears throat> yeah, so Magix, a lot of people are asking about what Magix is. 
watch the free course, you'll see it. But Magic basically is a software that you're going to want to use when you get, when you're starting to do twenty to $50,000 a month in revenue, you want to start using Magic because that's what's going to amplify your ads. That's what's going to, because you've got to remember when you scale on, on Facebook, the issue that people people get when they scale on Facebook is they actually make less money when they scale. So the way to get around that issue is by having a software in place that makes sure that you don't lose money. Now, a lot of a lot of issues that people have is when they try and scale on Facebook during the evening, they don't get many sales. And when they're asleep, they don't get many sales. So you're wasting money from, let's say, 10 p.m. till 7 a.m. in the morning. So over that time, you've wasted money. And that's why people struggle to make money on ads. So if you've got a software that can stop that from happening, then you've made lots of money. And Magix is one of those tools that can actually do that. Um, and yes, it's an expensive software, but when you're making a lot of money and when you're trying to scale, you're going to need it in place. Uh, Magix is just one of the companies that offer it to a very high level. And it's the one that I like the most. Um... But yeah, that's the reason why we we use it. <clears throat> I've used all the software similar, but Magix is by far the one that I like the most at the moment. <clears throat> yeah, I can't give people legal advice legal advice about starting companies. You have to speak to a lawyer or an accountant to do that, not me. If I could, then I would. Uh, are you sponsored by Magix? I'm not. Straight up, not. I have an affiliate link, a hundred percent. But have they paid me? No, nope, they've not paid me a penny. When's my YouTube course dropping? My YouTube's dro my YouTube uh, course dropped literally four days ago. I need your help on ads, how to optimize my conversions where I do advertisers. What about the Facebook iOS problems? I need your help on how to maximize my conversions. Maximizing your conversions on Facebook is just making sure that what works, you basically work on, you either increase budgets or you duplicate what's working. Um, Facebook iOS 14, honestly, guys, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Again, I'm going to cover Facebook iOS 14 in a minute, but let me quickly answer this other question. Do Google ads still work? Yes, they do work, but I think YouTube ads is the better alternative this year, if you want my honest opinion. Now, going back into iOS 14. So iOS 14, for because the last live stream crashed, so I'm going to have to go over it again. But basically, iOS 14 is basically going to make it so you can't do as many retargeting events so your conversion events your retargeting events they've been narrowed down now to to, to less now the, the ones that are the most important are still available so the ones that are actually going to do a lot for you are still available so that's the important thing that's the only thing that should matter the ones that are going to make you money are still available now ios 14 are going to do slight differences that's literally it Again, the gurus out there are trying to get your attention. They're trying to get views. They're trying to scare you. It's again, manipulation. It's called market manipulation. Again, it happens in every industry. Big people in the industry will say certain things to make the majority lead in a certain way that will benefit the big players. So imagine if I, again, this is an example I'm going to give you. Don't worry unless I worry. So if there's ever an update, if I start worrying about it, then you should worry about it. If I don't worry about it, you shouldn't worry about it. It's like an example. If you're on an airplane, you should only worry if the air host is worrying. That's the example I'm going to give you. If not, you should be relaxed. That's just the metaphor that I'm trying to give you. Um, but yeah, market manipulation happens all the time, guys. And this is one of the ones that people are trying to do now. So you got to think if the big guys in the industry can get the majority of people off Facebook ads, that makes it more cheaper for them. So you have to think of it like that, you know. Um, UK bank account. Uh, Revolut is probably one of the best ones you can get. If if I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna be honest with you. Revolut is probably the best one for the for beginners. Shopify Exchange Marketplace isn't too bad, dude. But I don't personally agree with buying stores that have been that have pre-ran. I, I I would just run them myself from scratch. Um. Do you think YouTube ads are un underrated? Yeah, YouTube ads are, are way underrated, like insanely underrated. YouTube ads are just, YouTube ads is where Facebook ads was back in 2016, 17, if I'm being real honest with you. Soon I will start the mentorship with Van Dank. He will help me starting LTD accounting or do I need to figure that out myself? So he can give you advice, but he can't do it for you. Again, you've got to remember that 
legal things like tax, legal things like setting up companies, you have to have a certificate to give advice. So you have to be very careful when you're asking people to give you advice because if they're not legally um, legally trained to do it, because it's in a regulated industry, you have to be careful. You can actually start a company yourself, but again, it's just if you don't know what you're doing, go seek expert advice with certificates especially when it comes to legal and taxes. You need to make a separate company to run your to run and finance the LLC's business banking account or credit. Again, I can't, guys, I can't keep can't keep emphasizing this. I can't give you legal advice, so please don't ask me about legal or tax advice because I can't give it you. <clears throat> what platform would you recommend to sell a dropship product? Shopify by far is the easiest one to do. I love your course, but I have a uh, ban Facebook account, please help. I don't know what to do. So guys, if you've got a banned account, all you've got to do is put in a um, an appeal to Facebook. Make sure that you follow everything in the course. Verify your domain name. Again, for a lot of people that are here, you have to verify your domain name now to decrease the chances of getting into issues. Yeah, he can do it to point you in the right direction, but he can't do it for you. That's completely right. So basically, guys, you've got to now start verifying your domain name. So do bear that in mind. And again, if you want to learn how to verify your domain name in the business manager, go check out the, the video on the e-commerce agency channel about doing that because we go into, into detail on how you guys can do that. But doing that as well can really help decrease the issues. Now, a lot of guys are saying, why is Facebook making it hard for small business owners to make money? Which is a great question. Now, Facebook, in my opinion, now again, I don't know. I don't know an inside man that's telling me this. I'm just telling it from what I see and what I think. I think that Facebook is trying to get the small people off and put the big people on. So I think Facebook does not care about small businesses anymore. I think they only care about the big players. And for that reason, that's why they're banning a lot of accounts. Facebook only want to work with accounts that have spends of at least 100,000 a month. So that's the way I see that. That's why I see Facebook not really caring much about people anymore do you stri do you strictly recommend a one product branded store or multiple item store for beginners i recommend a one product store dude if you've got at least um if you've got at least three hours a day you should be doing that if you've got less than three hours a day maybe try a general store with a 2k budget how can you test five products so i typically test products based on 500 dollars. so i do 500 dollars per product depending on the date it depends if i carry them on or not and again all that is explained in the free course guys if you're new here smash the like button that is just you that all you got to do to show me a lot of people are saying cam how can we thank you for the free course all you got to do is support me on every video so when not when i'm on a live stream smash the like button that's all i ask for the like button is my best friend that is the way to my heart so again for those guys that are asking about brexit how it affects vat import taxes export taxes all that stuff there will be a video coming out on the e-commerce agency channel in the next couple of weeks where i'll be interviewing an accountant that will explain absolutely everything but in the meantime shopify did write an article what do i think of woocommerce woocommerce is great woocommerce is very very good what do you think of AdSpy? AdSpy is a great tool, but it's expensive. Um, there's there's tools out there like Peekster that are a fragment of the price and technically does pretty much the same thing. AdSpy is good if you've got a lot of money to play around with, but if not, there's no need. <laughs> How to scale horizontally? So you just got to duplicate. You just got to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. What are the best apps to use? A guy. So somebody keeps asking about what are the best apps to use, guys. Just watch. The YouTube course, the free course on my YouTube channel, I'll go on about everything. What about credit cards? The best credit card in general is the American Express. If you live in the States and Canada, Chase is very good as well. Um, those are the two best ones. And again, if you use my link in the description, you will get 9,000 points, um, which is worth like $30 maybe, $20. So go and check it out. All that I like to use if you're on a budget is Peekster, P-E-E-K-S-T-A. And again, go on to the e-commerce agency channel if you want to learn how to verify your domain name. And again, guys, please smash the like button. If you want to show your appreciation for the live stream. One LLC per store. Yeah, you can do. Do you keep testing other Valentine products on the same pixel even if the product is very different? So as long as the product is in the same 
audience category so if you're targeting people for valentine's day and the product fits that same pattern you don't need to change the pixel thoughts on tiktok ads tiktok ads do you mean what do you mean facebook ads or do you mean actual um influencers tiktok ads you can actually run ads on tiktok I've done a few, but I've not got to a position yet where I'm like, you know what? I'm confident enough to show you guys how to do it. Unless I'm concrete confident, I'm not going to show you anything. But yeah, I know I know a couple of guys in the game that are doing really, really well um, with TikTok ads. But personally, I, I don't like them. Will you be making a YouTube ads video? Love the vids. Yes, yeah, so there will be a YouTube course coming out this year. And there'll also be a Google Ads course coming out this year. So guys, if you're looking forward to the Google Ads course and the YouTube Ads course, smash the like button. Let me know in the comment section. <coughs> Digital or physical products? Um, my business partner, Tyrell, known as the Ecom Don, just started a drop shipping um, physical product. And you know what? That's actually given me a really good idea. I actually am going to make a video. You know what? I'm actually really happy that you guys mentioned that. I'm actually going to make a YouTube video about selling digital products. Don't worry, digital products that are, that are drop shipping products. You can actually drop ship uh, digital products. My business partner Tyrell did one the other day. While well, he's still doing it now, he's doing around about two hundred dollars a month. Uh, sorry, two hundred dollars a day profit a day at the moment. And the great thing about digital products is you don't have to send them out. They can get instantly um, downloaded. So. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll you know what? That's great. I didn't even think about doing that, but yeah, I'm going to do a video about that. Because that that store that he did is absolutely nuts. Like I've never done one myself, but Tyra lives literally 3 floors below me. Um and yeah, <laughs> after seeing how well it's been going, I need to share it with you guys because I think that could be great. I think the digital product game could be great. I didn't even think about it. Because when you think of digital products, you think of courses and I don't like them, so but yeah, now I've seen my business partner do one. That's that's a good idea. <clears throat> now you should not use dropship it rabbits um video ads anything that dropship rabbit gives you you should make you should only use it as a reference you should not use it for yourself <clears throat> what do you use instead of ads by peekster p-e-e-k-s-t-a uh, somebody put what do you drink i drink water i literally just drink water ginger tea maybe some milk tea i don't drink fizz i don't drink alcohol it's either water, ginger tea, well, that's it. Guys, make sure you smash that like button uh, to show your appreciation for the live stream. Some people say other tests target in USA, Australia on Facebook because of high quality data, even if CPMs are expensive. Dude, you should test the countries that you feel are best for your product. So if you look at some of the case studies on the YouTube channel, you'll see that we've made a video where we only target Australia because the market is perfect for just that product. There's times where we will only target the US because that's the better country. You target the country based on if the audience matches that country. You don't do it because it's cheaper. You do it based on logic. <clears throat> what is the example of the digital product to dropship? I'm not going to give it away because he's still selling it and I don't want to ruin his whole, his whole gig. So I'm not going to say it till his store dies out, but you'll see it sometime on the channel. Don't worry. Is the, does the ambassador strategy still work? Yeah, it does work. If anything, the ambassador strategy works better than ever because people want to uh, make money. So it's never worked better than ever. So the, 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 the cheat sheet is, the, is visible on, on the last course. The cheat sheet still works. So I don't know, I don't know what the issue is. <clears throat> I don't know what the issue is. <clears throat> will you save the live stream? Yeah, the live stream will be on replay, replay like they always are. So make sure you uh, watch the replay. Adult product dropshipping. Yeah, adult products are very good. I actually worked with a guy who did adult products. Um, and he made a lot of money. The only issue with adult products is you can't run them on your typical ads like Facebook, YouTube. You have to do them on the adult advertising sites. Um, adult products are very good because they sell really well. But the, the con is it's hard to get them out there, you know. Do I drink coffee? Yeah yes but but i don't drink like straight coffee if i drink coffee i'll have it in like a latte where it's more milk than coffee um and i don't really drink lattes i have them maybe one in the blue moon i rarely ever have any so 
I try and keep away from things like caffeine. Um, I call I call things like caffeine like fake substances where if you get too reliant on it, it can ruin your your whole life, you know, because you become so reliant on it. Like I don't take paracetamol unless I really need to take it. Like I only take things if I really need to take them. You know, I try and keep myself quite quite good. Are you happy? Yeah, I'd say yeah. I'm 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 happy. I've got nothing to not be happy about, but. I'd say yeah, I'm happy, but it depends how you ask that question. If you say are you are you stressed? I'd say yeah. Would you say are you tired? I'd say yeah. But it just depends how you ask the question. Google ads or Facebook ads? Yeah, Google ads. Mm, Facebook ads will always be my my favorite because I've grew up I grew up since 2017 on it. Yeah, tea's great. I drink ginger tea. Ginger tea is the key. I drink tea to ginger tea. Valentine dropshipping, yeah. Valentine dropshipping is the next big thing. You need to be doing it. There's a video on the channel that I did a few weeks ago showing you guys how we did 60k using $500 in advertising. It's all there. Guys, that's the crazy thing. You guys have been so blessed with the amount of content I've given you guys on the channel is unreal. Like, you guys are not asking about Valentine's Day. I gave you a full case study about whole of Valentine's Day. Even showing you us last year doing it. YouTube ads or Facebook ads? I think YouTube ads in January, I think YouTube ads in March, April will be more mainstream for beginners than it will be for most people. And again, by then, guys, don't worry. The YouTube ads course will be out. But don't get me wrong. Like YouTube, Facebook ads will always still be amazing. Like I'm still doing Facebook ads. The majority of people that we know do Facebook ads. So it's still the go-to by, by far. It doesn't matter what's going on. It's still the go-to. Have you tried Pinterest ads? No, I haven't. I actually haven't. An average ROI in dropshipping business. You're looking at 20, uh, 20 to 15 to 35%. It depends on the product. <clears throat> yeah, so those guys that are asking about dropshipping ads, you need to um, you need to make sure you're following the ones. You need to be following the ones in the uh, course, guys. You ads should look like mine in the course. Somebody asked me why you're giving out all this free information because at the end of the day, like I said in my last stream before it cut off, I don't really need to really do drop shipping, drop shipping anymore. I've got to a point now where I've got I've got private labeled brands where they're not really drop shipping anymore. They they are and they aren't, but they're high level. So you so to compete with me at that level is not easy. So Me giving away all this information isn't going to hurt me. It can hurt me a little bit, but it's not going to hurt me more. And I feel like somebody needs to do it. Somebody needs to give away, and somebody needs to give away the the information. You know, like you know why I'm. You know, it goes quite deep. You know, and a lot of people need to realize that it goes quite deep. Now, the reason why I'm giving away all this information is because we're going through a period of time at the moment where the wealth barrier is going to change drastically. What I mean by that is the poor and the rich dividance is going to be really big. Honestly, mark my word when I say this, the, 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 the barrier between the rich and the poor is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. By the end of this year, it's going to be huge. Bigger than ever. I think that the middle class this year will, will, will disappear. I think the middle class this year or next year will, will be gone will be completely gone. There won't be anything called the middle class anymore. It'll either be poor or rich. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because, again, what should have happened in five years is happening in one year. And that's going to, and that's going to change things drastically, you know? So the reason why I'm giving out all this information out for free is because if I can try and help as many people as I can get to the, 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 the rich side instead of the poor side, that's good because I truly believe if you look at if you look at the numbers and again men lie women lie numbers don't that is just facts now the thing is there is enough money to go around there has never been this amount of money in the world so what I'm saying is I'm not greedy I don't need billions so there is enough to go around for me to give you a lot for me to still be good, you know? 
So that's why I'm cool. A lot of you guys are asking about Bitcoin. That's an example. Bitcoin is going to inflate the rate of how many people come rich and rich and rich and rich and rich and rich, and rich you know? Um, and that's the crazy thing. Bitcoin is going to, this year, because it's a bull market, the rich are just going to get richer. And again, the poor are going to get poor because the poor don't want to invest because they, they don't understand it. They, the barrier to entry, that's another thing that I've not talked about. The barrier to entry is going to be so high. The barrier to entry for drop shipping is going to be huge next year. So this year it's around about a thousand to two thousand dollars. Next year it's going to be around about three to four thousand dollars. So the barrier to entry in anything in terms of e-com and investing is going to get higher and higher and higher and higher. Somebody put Chainlink is the future, dude. I've I've got a lot of money invested in Chainlink. So the barrier to entry in 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 everything is going to get really really high. So if you don't get started now, then you're in big trouble because in in a year, two years time, you may not even be able to do it. So that's why I'm that's why I am on YouTube shouting down your ear saying, get on with it, get on with it. I've given you the free course, I've given you case studies, I've given you everything you need. You just need to make sure you go out and do it. If after gathering data, enough data, will losing money, will Tesla collects and still not be profitable? What should we do? So if, you, if you've gone into warm audiences and you're still struggling, then you've either got a pricing problem or you've got a product problem. That's the facts. But that, that's, that's the thing. I hope you know how much the time you take out to free information. I appreciate it. I've already started building a business based off your course. So I appreciate Sarah Owen. Um, I really appreciate Sarah Owen going out and saying that. I really appreciate that. Shopify asking for dropshipping agreement to release funds, but currently dropshipping through form Amazon to Shopify. What should I tell them? Dude, I have no idea what you mean. You've worded that question really badly. You need to re reword it. Um, so yeah, guys, I've given you everything you need. You need to get on with it because if you don't, things ain't going to look good for you in the future. <clears throat> and for those guys that keep asking me, do I invest in crypto? If you look on my Instagram story, you'll see that I've invested $200,000 in the last two weeks. I've invested a lot of money into crypto recently. A lot of money into crypto. So um, you've, you've, got to, you've, got to, you've got to get on with it, you know? <clears throat> Somebody put his $200 enough to start WooCommerce. Mm, it's, it's, it's hard. It's going to be tough, dude. It's going to be tough. Like I said, the barrier to entry just keeps going higher and higher and quicker and quicker. Can you actually start a dropshipping business with zero dollars? You can, but again, it's getting really, really hard. Is Stripe good in the UK? Yeah, Stripe's pretty good in the UK. It's probably become... Stripe's come a long way, you know. Stripe has become a very, very, very good way. Stripe has become very, very good, actually. Because, again, you guys got to remember, I've been in the e-commerce game since 2015, and Stripe back in 2015 was not that good. <clears throat> so they've come a long way. They've literally gone from being, like, position number six to, like, number two or one over that time, which is amazing. Have you sold on Amazon? No, I haven't. I've never sold on Amazon. So my business partner, Ben Lee, has those, so I can't give you any advice on that. How old are you? I'm 21 years old. I become 20. My birthday is on the 10th of the 5th, 10th of the 5th, 1999. So I'll become 22 this year. <clears throat> but man, thank you for my beef and my pleasure, buddy. You should only start a general store if you've got less than three hours a day. If you haven't, you should be doing the one product store format in the course. Uh, Facebook versus Apple Impact. Guys, watch the video on the e-commerce agency channel. I don't want to keep going over it. Yeah, if you look at my beard, it's because I need to I need to trim it down a little bit. A bit. That's the thing. You know you're working hard when you've got like an overgrown beard. You've not you you like your face just looks a little bit scruffy. <clears throat> if PayPal verified, do we still get holds? So how PayPal instant transaction works is you need to make sure that you've got your business documents verified. You need to make sure that you've got at least thirty to fifty transactions approved. You need to make sure that every tracking number gets uploaded within 24 hours for 50 tracking numbers. And you can use tools like TrackShore, T-R-A-K-S-H-O-R-E. Um, -R -R -E. 
You need to be using TrackShore that will automate your PayPal automations, which is important. So you need to do it. And for those guys that are saying they're a little bit scared about <clears throat> how how the how the future's looking, you don't need to be scared. You just need to get on with it. So a lot of you guys that are saying that you're scared, you don't need to be scared. You just need to get your head down and get in the game. Yes, the youth. I know there's other places in, in the world that are in lockdown and they're going to be in lockdown for a very long time until the virus, sorry, until the vaccine, um, until the vaccine starts to get into the main population. But what I'm trying to say is, whilst there's, there's, there's never been a better time, guys, to sit at home and have this much time to go out there and start your business and get on with it, guys. So please, if you're watching this, get your head down. Do not use this four months of lockdown to go watch Netflix. Don't use this four months to go mess around. Use this four months to graft. Graft. I mean, serious graft. Guys, look at my eyes, man. Can you guys see my eyes? Look how look how tired they look. Look how sore they look. That's what you call absolute grafting. And you guys might say, oh my God, you're going to end up killing yourself by working that hard. Guys, in the next three years, at least I don't need to worry that much, you know? Like, even now, like, everything that I'm doing now is for, is for the, for the future. Is fashion good right now? Yeah, fashion's killing it. Fashion is killing it. Fashion is absolutely killing it. Like I said, I've got, I co-own a fashion brand. Go to my Instagram, the Ecom King, um, uh, go to the Ecom King Instagram page, the verified page, and you'll see that I've got a clothing brand, and you'll see that we're killing it. At the moment, our ROAS is like 14. It's insane. It's insane. Somebody put your last course cheat sheet isn't working. I'll check it out, but for what I know, from what I know, um, the the cheat sheet's working. But I'll I'll double check after the after the after the after the live stream's over. Yeah, so guys, the, the, the live streams are going to happen every two weeks. So we do a live stream on this channel every two weeks. So every two weeks, there'll be a live stream. So make sure you turn post notifications on so you get alerted when we do a live stream. There's going to be another... So again, I know a lot of you guys are asking. There's going to be a new print-on-demand course. There's going to be a new print-on-demand course this year. It's going to be around about summertime um, because the last one I did is still pretty relevant. There is going to be a new print-on-demand course coming out around about April, May time. There's going to be a course coming out about YouTube ads. There's going to be a course coming out about Google ads. There's also going to be a, a six-month update on the course that I released the other, other week. It's the course that I released around about four or five days ago. There, there is going to be a mid-year update, which might, much, which might be like a, a, an hour long, but um, do, do look out for it. Do you go live on Instagram? Yeah, I go live on Instagram maybe once every two weeks, every week. I do go live quite a lot on Instagram, so make sure you go and follow me on Instagram and turn post notifications on Instagram as well. What's the difference between print on demand and drop shipping? Print on demand is all about merchandise like clothing, and then um, drop shipping is about selling products from suppliers. It's basically clothing compared to actual products. Can you do this without being 18? Of course you can. You just need to make sure that you use your parents' name and then when you become 18, you can transfer it into your name. Depends on the country you live in as well. It's all based on certain laws. But how can you access the current print-on-demand course? Go to the YouTube. Go to YouTube, type in the Ecom King print-on-demand course. It'll come up. It's a four-hour course or five and a half. I don't even know how long that one is. It's still a long course, but go check it out. Are necklaces good right now? Yeah, necklaces are amazing right now. Necklaces... Killing it right now. Somebody put, are you on Clubhouse? Yes, I am on Clubhouse. So if you want to go and add me on Clubhouse, it's the Ecom King. No, so go check me out on Clubhouse. We do Clubhouse maybe, we do Clubhouse once. We do Clubhouse rooms like every other day or sometimes pretty consistent a day after a day. Um, me and my, my me and my partners in the ecom mentoring company all go on there and we share our value. Um, all I'm going to say about Clubhouse guys is be very very careful. Clubhouse has encouraged a lot of 
so-called experts to go on there and talk rubbish. Clubhouse has encouraged a lot of idiots to go on there. So just be very careful with Clubhouse, you know. Clubhouse has got a lot of idiots on there. And and if you've if you've been in any of my rooms recently, you'll, you would have seen me call out a, quite a lot of people um, that are just talking absolute rubbish. So yeah be very very careful on uh on 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 on, on uh, clubhouse yeah K kalama is very very good dude we've got Kla on our clothing brand again you check it out on instagram we use kalama on our clothing brand and our clothing brand isn't really that high high ticket it is expensive but it's not like hundreds and hundreds so yeah kalama works really 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 well in the uk somebody put i'll see at the top in 2022 yeah of course man Come join. I, I don't care. Anybody who wants to come to the top, come to the top, dude. I've given every single one of you guys all the information you need to get to the top, so there's no excuse, you know? Make sure... <clears throat> so make sure you guys go in and get your head down, you know? What products do I recommend right now? I'd recommend that you do things like you um sorry um um necklaces, cooking products, uh gift products, um relationship products. Those are the best ones at the moment, guys. Somebody put they've done everything and they're still not working. So you can do everything, guys, and it can still not work. You've just got to make sure that you're being consistent, and that is the key. <clears throat> If you're just going to do something and then give up after because it didn't work, then you're not going to win in this. Can you drop ship with 10k? Of course you can. Somebody's asking about giveaways. Um, Yeah, we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, you know what? We'll do a giveaway. So I'll do one giveaway today. I'm not going to do loads because they take up a lot of time. And today was all about asking questions about the course. Um, So we'll do a giveaway. Let me know in the... Let me know in the actual live stream what giveaway you want me to do. So in the live stream chat, let me know what giveaway you want me to do. Uh, website, uh, winning product called softwares, video editing softwares. Let me know in the live chat what, what, what giveaway you want me to do. Some people, where are you based? I'm based in the West Midlands. Let me know in the live chat what, 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 what giveaway you want me to do. Ugh, I can do a website giveaway. Um... I can do a consultation call giveaway. I can do winning product tool software giveaway. I can do PayPal tracking software. I can do quite a lot of things, guys. Just let me know and I'll pick somebody and I'll give you the rules to enter. All you got to do, just let me know and I'll be picking from the one that is the most uh, frequently put in there. So it looks like a website is the main one. So let's do a website giveaway then because that is pretty much the one that I keep seeing the most. So we'll do a website giveaway. So let's get straight into the website giveaway. So let's get that going. So I'm going to give you guys the rules to enter the website giveaway right now. So all you need to do to enter the website giveaway is follow me on Instagram and like and comment on my most recent photo. So I've actually put in the YouTube live stream um my i've even pinned it i've even pinned in the youtube live stream my um my uh instagram so go and make sure in the instagram you go and like my most recent photo leave a comment and i'll be picking somebody in the next few minutes so again if you want to win a website make sure you go to my instagram page like the most recent video sorry like the most recent photo leave a comment and i'll be picking a winner in the next few minutes So guys, if you want to win the website giveaway, go to my Instagram. It is pinned in the actual live stream. Like my most recent photo, leave a comment, and I'll be picking a winner in the next few minutes. It'll be literally in less than a minute. So guys, make sure you go out there and get started with doing that. And in between now and then, I'll make sure to answer some more questions and try and give you guys as much value as I can. Yeah, somebody put, do you have a video on how to start from scratch? Of course I do, dude. Go watch the free course. 
Glasses is one of the best niches. Honestly, glasses is one of the un most under underrated niches in the industry. I actually did a case study video about how this steampunk glass store did over six figures because it was the one of the most underrated niches in the industry. Again, guys, I'm gonna be picking a winner in literally 30 seconds. If you want to win a winner, um, if you want to be winning a website, all you need to do is go to the pinned comment, my Instagram page, like the most recent photo, leave a comment, pardon me, and I'll be picking a winner literally in the less than 15 seconds. Pardon me. So I'm going to be picking a winner right now, guys, because I don't want to waste your time. So you can see here, I'm on my Instagram. I'm going to go to comments. And I'm going to sort the comments by newest. And I'm going to literally go through this and be picking a winner. So go in, go in, go in, go in, and go in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back to the top again. So I'm going to go down, keep going down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to go up, and so now I'm going to go up, and then I'm going to pick. So the winner of that was Ali BR. Ali BR. So I'm going to message you right now. <clears throat> hey, bro, you're the. So you can see here, I've just messaged the winner saying, Hey, bro, you're the winner. So you guys can see that. And I think he's going to reply any minute now. So let's see if he replies. So he should reply right now. So you can see he might reply. So yeah, he's typing. You can see. Let's see what he replies. He puts, oh my God. So you guys can see right there. He's the winner. Now guys, that's the only giveaway I'm going to be doing today. I will be doing more giveaways on the next live stream. So the next live stream will do loads and loads of giveaways. So turn post notifications on. Guys, let's all congratulate the winner of the giveaway. Again, this YouTube channel is about positivity. This YouTube channel is about uplifting each other and no negativity so make sure you go in um let the other family members congrats them make them feel like they've they've uh they, they're well deserved of the giveaway because all of you deserve to win the giveaway if you support the channel and you and you do what you need to you know so make sure you go in and congratulate him again this this whole family and here is all about making sure that we all win together you know that's the whole reason why i started this channel so guys, I hope you've enjoyed the live stream. Make sure you smash the like button to show your appreciation because I have been on here for longer than an hour now and I've been helping you guys out. Also, smash the like button if you liked the course. And guys, I'll catch you guys in two weeks time and, I'll be, and you'll be seeing a load of videos again, one video a week on the channel, more courses, more free courses to come on the channel as well. So guys, again, if you appreciate it, smash the like button, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys very, very soon again.